I didn't think that all this was going to happen. What do you think of this support? You have an obligation to hear this young man. My community is mobilized for a battle that has very serious implications. So we'll be heading to Ottawa for a news conference with my call in about half an hour. That's a good way to pass the time, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you uh, winning? No. <laughs> Is that a way of dealing with stress, too? I guess, in a way. That's a way to deal with the mental load. Guys, what are you doing? Ah, did you just wake up? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. shine. No. <laughs> no, uh, not me right now. We'll go soft, focus on you. Like that. There you go. See, it softens out the edges. It's gonna oh, he needs his early morning. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. Oh, we should have, if we would have been here 15 minutes ago, we could have got you rising out of your beauty sleep. How about now? <laughs> you guys can film if you want. <laughs> it's okay. I, it's I, our last day. You will never yeah. see. I've, I've caved. It's okay. Everyone talks about prom and who they're bringing, what they're wearing. For Mark, it was just normal. I'm bringing JP. I'm going to be wearing this. You know. And some people can kind of told him, well, you know, it is a Catholic school and you're gay, and you know, there might be some objection to that. Let's see again. I like that. The funniest part is, it never would have made such a big deal of it. It wouldn't have been like this. The principal said, Mark, you're welcome to come to the prom. But you're not welcome to come with your boyfriend. Because he's your boyfriend. I know you want to do something about the prom. So I thought I'd put all the stores there. Oh, I can't see myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mirror. Maybe you know, we, we could be there at the moment when um, the Mark learns. But... Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Let them uh, in for a few minutes, eh? They won't. Yeah, for a few minutes. A few minutes, it's, it's, it's okay. Like then... we, we, we turned down so many people. Like, yeah, I, you know, everybody wants, I wanted to, yeah, I understand, yeah. to do an interview right now. Like, we don't know how we're supposed oh, to feel. Exactly, eh? it's too early to say this. That's yeah, why we wouldn't do uh, anything at this point right now. We don't know if we, if we could be happy or picked up. Well, Mark called me at home, and he was crying. He was upset, but I wasn't. I wasn't mad. I'm so, Steve, by the way. Uh, I'm uh, with the CTV National. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. We, 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 we were there on the first day that Mark was just sort of, you know, oh, yeah. made this public. And, I'm mm -hmm. sure. I'm, I'm but we'll come, well, yeah, we'll, we'll see you later then, we'll leave you. We'll yeah, like these guys here, like they, uh, they, they've been with us uh, ever since it started, like uh, oh, doing a documentary, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right from the beginning. I came across the Ontario Human Rights Commission web, web page, and they had a section there with all the, the, the charter codes, sexual orientation, it was right in there, so. I thought, well, we have something there. Yeah, like I said, we, yeah. you know, we could be waiting till four o'clock. Uh, yeah. we, I know for sure it, it ain't gonna be before three. Originally, it was like Mark and I together sticking up for our rights as a couple, right? I thought be, through downfalls, you know, things can make you stronger together if you stick up for your rights together, you know, but it never happened that way. Well, when, when did it all start? <laughs> Was it just a week ago? No, on oh, the news. No, it's been the probably, like, probably a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. A week and a half. Probably. It was right after. I think it was about three weeks ago that we went. Well, to, went to see him. Uh, we went to the school. It's probably well right started. We had, a, story, we yeah. had a meeting yeah. with the. We principal. set up a meeting with the principal, and uh, I guess it lasted probably three or four minutes. Uh, well, he said, you know, he had his mind made up before we even got there. I'm a Catholic. I've been a Catholic for almost 62 years now, okay? I know uh, I know a bit of the rules, and uh, I think Mark is being discriminated against just because he's different. Actually, it's crazy now. I had to go get a magazine, had chapters for a project. Oh, oh my God, you're Mark Hall. 
Oh my god, you're the guy we saw on TV. Are you that gay guy that came out of the prom with your boyfriend? Oh, it was crazy. And like when we went to get coffee, there was this girl sitting across the room. And uh, when they were leaving, they threw a napkin at me and they went out the door. And I opened it and it was like, you should be able to go to prom from us four girls. There's my buddies. because we're in documentary. <laughs> and um, I just, I, I couldn't believe that something like that would happen, like in today's society. And I saw how hard how hard it was on Mark, and how upset he was. And I went to school the next day, and I put, the little, put a little bit of a website up, and brought it up, and I don't know. It just kind of went public, and everybody suddenly found out about it. Yeah. The rest is history. Can you tell me why you are in this meeting tonight? At World Youth Day 2002, which is our attention tonight, the participants will learn how the Canadian Catholics live their faith and also experience our country. We have a special invitation to adopt personally and communally, communally the theme of the World Youth Day. They're coming here, so we have responsibility, my brothers and sisters, to become the salt of the earth. To be salt of the earth is to believe that with God, no mission is impossible, that through your life, God is saving our world, you are thus God's gift to the world. Mm -hmm. I rise on a point of privilege, Madam no, Chair. No, no, you may not yes. actually know. I know a little bit about parliamentary okay. procedure, Madam Chair. Excuse me. Chair. You not only, you have an obligation, you have an obligation to hear this young man. You and your board caused this situation. You have a They created an issue this size, and to sit here and try to ignore it, what really flies in the face of uh, democracy, when your constituency demands to hear why you made a decision, you have an obligation to tell them why you made it. Uh, or step back, have uh, a clearer look at it, and say, hey, maybe we've uh, acted a little hastily on here, on this issue, and we should uh, uh, invite Mark and his uh, uh, a partner to to the school prom. And, uh, You're Catholic, right? Yeah, yeah. You believe in Jesus, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think Jesus would have done about this if he was um, the school board chairman? Well, would he let you in? <laughs> yeah, he would. I think the school board just misunderstood what they the, what they were taught. I didn't want to go to prom and you know be rejected right at the door, right? So, oh, so you figured you'd ask. I figured I'd ask first instead of going and. No. I want to hear how this board could justify the, the draconian policy that they put in place. And uh, just as important, I wanted to hear Mark. Sir, come with that out. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. Why are you taking him? Why are you taking him? Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. very deeply for this young man. I hear he's a wonderful young man. He's a very talented, very bright young man. He's 17 years of age, and I have not met him. I have not met Mark, but um, I hear he's a wonderful fellow. He's here right now. Doesn't it 
seem ironic that you talk about the salt of the earth and welcoming all these people, this, these world youth, to Toronto, and yet this boy is not welcome to bring his boyfriend to prom? We have our rights as Catholics, and when someone joins our school or attends our school, whether they're Catholic or not, they must follow the rules of our schools. If they don't, they have the option to go to another school. We open our arms to anyone of any faith, any background, whatever, just homosexuals, no problem. We do not accept. <laughs> well, he can't go to Let her speak. Let her speak. We do not accept the lifestyle of a homosexual or something. That Did you know it isn't a lifestyle, though? You got it. Okay, I'll explain that after. Too. Nor do we <laughs> allow something. I'm well aware of the lifestyle. Mark is welcome to come to the prom, but not, with, but but not as Mark has stated. And I heard him having a male take him a male date. Does this frustrate you? Is there any way Mary, around 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 you? Around is way that this frustrate you? It disturbs me. It upsets me because I feel for the young man. I understand. I assume Mark's probably going to make sure he's on the agenda yeah. for next time because they yeah. can't hide from him forever. We're going on April 8th. We're going, definitely. I'm talking. I'm talking on April 8th. Hi, I'm George. Meet Mark Hall. Oh, Mark Buzz Hargrove. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, good to meet you. You're a brave young man. Thanks. Here's the rules of engagement. Pretty simple, obviously. The seating order will be you on the left, then Buzz, then Mark, and Marilyn. Left to right in that order. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, George Smither, and I have the honor of uh, being the member of the Ontario Legislature for Toronto Centre Rosedale. And in the last week or two, I've gained a much bigger honor, which is... Uh, the ability to call Mark Hall a friend. Rather than speaking from a religious or political aspect, I'd rather talk about uh, the way I felt when uh, Mr. Powers told me that I couldn't go to the prom. Um, I felt rejected. I felt as if my school just uh, kind of caved down on me. Uh, to some people, school is a second home, and for me, I, I think it's a second home to me. Um, they just basically deny me um, my rights and um, they teach you in grade 12 morality that there's absolutely nothing wrong with homosexuality and yet they contradict what they teach. I believe that the school board is just misinterpreting what they were taught. I believe in a God that loves everybody, not just for their actions. And uh, um, I think they, that he loves everybody for who they are, not um, like, oh my God. <sighs> I'll speak again at the end. I'm, I'm Buzz Hargrove, I'm pre uh, national president of the Canadian Auto Workers Union. And I'm very proud to be here with a courageous young student, a young man uh, who elected to stand up for his rights. Uh, and I, I think back in our history about so many people who've lived uh, a life of, uh, of silence, of, uh, of uh, agony and suffering, uh, because they didn't have the personal courage to stand up for, for what uh, they believed in or what they were. Uh, and no one else had the courage, and I, uh, I think this young man deserves a, uh, an enormous amount of, uh, of credit and respect for having the courage to stand up and say, here's who I am, uh, take me uh, for what I am, respect me uh, for what I am. Are you surprised, Mark, by how much attention this has garnered and how much support you seem to be getting from people like Buzz Hargrove? <clears throat> well, I'm still kind of overwhelmed that I'm here. Are you optimistic with all this support behind you that you're actually going to maybe win this? I think so. I mean, it's all of us against the school board. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised, Mark, that in this day and age that this is still going on? Um, 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's the year 2002. Um, I mean, more and more people are just accepting homosexuality because it's not an issue. But apparently it is for the school board. You're intending to go to university. What career are you choosing? Well, I'm, I'm thinking of becoming an accountant. <laughs> it should be law. The thing is, he knows who he is, and he's not afraid to be who he is. But with other students, they're afraid to come out. They're leaving a, leading a double life, a hidden life. They'll come back on the weekend and say they were with the opposite sex, where, whereas they weren't really, because they want to cover up. And it's sad that it has to be like that. And that is why one-third of all completed teenage suicides is a result of an issue around sexual orientation. Oh, this is my room. <laughs> Don't mind the the uh, the door. What a great aquarium! My boyfriend bought it for me. Really? Yep. Everything in here there he bought for Christmas. Okay, well I have ten fish, and this rummy guy is my favorite. It's supposed to be he went down with his treasure, and all he has is the bottle of rum left. He drinks it. This is my brother, my nephew, and my sister-in-law. This is Ryan, my my baby nephew. JP's up here. Got some weird pictures, but oh well. And this is what I got. I went to Church Street for my first time. My boyfriend bought it for me. And actually, George Smitherman's assistant Todd gave me this. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a great hat. I don't know who that is. I don't even answer my phone if I don't know who the person is anymore. <laughs> but there's so many groups trying to get my story and everything, and how I'm like popping up everywhere in newspapers, magazines, even the radio. I don't even think I read this one. All school students should be able to attend prom. It's written by Natalie Miller. There's another one. I like my hair in that picture. But I love Buzz, he's great. Nice. I was just extremely frustrated. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here's another one. Mark's the kind of guy that he doesn't like to disappoint people. So he feels like he can't say no to anyone. So everyone is coming to him. Oh, I want to do an interview with you. I want to do an interview with you. Oh, we want to film you doing this. We want to film you doing that. Mark never said no. Um, if we wanted to get pictures of you just doing whatever at home, is that possible? Oh, yeah, sure. Because of everything that was happening, Mark uh, basically was spending less and less time at home, less time doing his work, and he was out basically every night of the week with these new friends of his. In a cafe California, the waiters oh, they gave, so me, gay. They gave me a crown that says Prom Queen 2002 on it. That oh, one guy, that. they were so hot, wearing the tight t-shirts. Oh, cut! Cut! <laughs> <laughs> and that started to kill our relationship really bad. Uh, on Friday, I got home, checked my email, and Lynn Brophy, she's the CAW girl that takes care of my media, right? And um, she sent me an email saying that Queer Folk wanted me to come on the set, right? So I was like freaking out, right? Because Queer Folk is the only show that I watch, right? So I was like jumping up and down my room. I immediately thought of Cassie, my best friend. I phoned her up and I just said, oh, so uh, what are you doing tonight? And she's like, uh, nothing. So I said, okay, well, you have plans with me. And she kind of just was like, okay, what's wrong? Like, what's going on? And I'm like, well, we're going to Toronto and we're gonna meet the queerest folk guys. And I swear to God, she started hyperventilating on the phone. And we saw Emmett, who's Peter Page. He's my favorite character. He had tears in his eyes and everything, and then we took pictures. They brought us into the costume room, and they gave me like this shiny baby blue shirt and a boa. And it was funny because it was bright pink. And um, Cassie got this purple shirt and uh, a purple boa. Uh, actually, we, me and Cassie had a walk-in part. 
Jesus, what the hell are they putting those drinks? Bartender, two more. <laughs> Have you guys seen Mark? Yeah, he's probably in the school. Okay. Do you want him? Yeah. I'll go find him for you. I'm going to find Mark. <laughs> There is, there is for the <laughs> We had so much trouble finding the school, I can't tell you. It's easy to find. You can't even see it from the road. <laughs> so what do you think of all this stuff about Mark Hall? I don't know. I don't think it's right that they're not letting him go because last year they let a pregnant girl go to the prom. But um, it is a Catholic school and it's not really what they believe in, so I don't know what to believe. I don't want to pick sides because I don't want to be right or wrong. I think it's crap. I think they should just let them bring them. They're contradicting themselves as far as this whole gay prom thing goes. Instead of writing down his boyfriend's name on the list as just a friend, he came out and said that it's his boyfriend. What do you think about this uh, gay, gay issue going on? Are you negative or positive about it? Does it matter? You want to share your opinion and? Uh... No, not really. I'm not, not really. Sure. All right. Do you think you'd be able to go? Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's, it's like discrimination. Yeah. What about you guys? We should be able to go. Yeah. yeah. Can I gotta ask you guys a question? About what? About Marcus's issue? Yeah. Do you want to tell me what's your general opinion of this whole prom issue? Go. You should. Shouldn't. Go. Shouldn't go. <laughs> like there, there are a, like certain groups and individuals that are very homophobic, and. There's just times where I just want to, you know, just tell them that homosexuality is, is not a, a switch in the mind or a spell of some kind. It's who you are. What do you think about this whole thing? Should he go? Shouldn't he? Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know. You with the Catholic teaching or no? Or, no. no? Like, on my part, I would let him go. You I'm would? Go. Yeah. 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 How'd you feel if, if he was, like, you know, with his boyfriend dancing and... I wouldn't really care. Yeah, no? It's, it's, if he wants to do what he wants to do, he has his own personal time. It's not like he's going to do crazy stuff in the middle of the dance floor. He's probably going to dance and kiss. That's it. I just know that he's fighting for something that's a good cause, and uh, I totally support him, and uh, I'm there for him. He, he's, he's a hero. He really is. Mark Hall is a good student who happens to be gay. His activism was not planned. It was provoked by a decision to deny him an expression of who he so clearly is. 20 years ago, Pierre Trudeau delivered a charter of rights and freedoms that enshrined my equality as a gay man. A recent poll showed 75% of Canadians, which must include a whole bunch of Catholics, are very supportive of the charter. Do you really want to draw a line in the sand over the issue of what someone's date looks like? I would ask that one of you have the courage to draft a motion that will allow Mark Hall to attend the prom with a date of his choice. You have the power. Use it wisely. A couple of years ago, when I was um, still a practicing homosexual myself, and certainly far from being a Catholic, 
a similar controversy arose in my hometown of Brampton um, over whether members of PFLAG um, or members of the Catholic group Courage should come to speak about homosexuality to the Catholic children in the Peel board. And I realized that just as I felt the Catholics didn't have the right to force uh, their sexual ideas on me in my own space, I realized that I, as a homosexual, did not have any right to force my ideals on Catholics within their space. There is nothing wrong with being gay, but we have an obligation as gay people, if we are, to resist the temptation to commit the sin of homosexuality. That God made us all sinners is his business, that he made some of us gay is his business, that we resist temptation is our business, and the teaching of his laws is part of your business. Please understand our support for you to do what we all know is right. I called the Catholic Pastoral Center after I called every single Roman Catholic church in Durham Region. Nobody returned my phone call. Not one. If I sound like a jackass up here right now, it's because no one from the Catholic Church called me so that I could respect where you're coming from. God created sex for two combined purposes. The happiness of a man and a woman united in married love and the happiness of new life being born from that union, unitive and procreative. If you take away either element, for instance with adultery, prostitution, masturbation, premarital sex, or homosexual activity, the result is a disordered sexual act which is limiting and destructive. That's our definition of sin. The Bible teaches us not to judge. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Luke 6, 37. The Bible also says that there's one judge. It's not any of us in this room. It's not any of us standing outside. It's God. School, to some people, is a second home. Being rejected by your own school is very heartbreaking. And in some schools, this type of homophobia has led to suicide. I think it is time that you understand that your decisions obviously affect more than just one person at this particular school. I plead with you tonight to reconsider your decision because of the many supporters. But more than that, I believe in justice, and I know that God loves me for who I am and not who I hide. Thank you. decided to make his homosexuality a public issue, a decision that would be difficult for an adult, let alone a young person, who is developing a personality of his own. Mark, you are so much more than your sexual orientation, and so much more than your behavior. So when we say to you, this is the mother of me coming in. So when we say to you that you cannot bring your same-sex partner to the prom, we are not rejecting you as a person. We accept you, but we cannot condone or allow homosexual behavior at our school function. Like the church, we accept and support Mark, but we also accept and respect the line that the church has drawn. Mark wants us to help him cross this line at this Catholic school function. This we will not do. Thank you. The hardest thing is that he thinks the school rejected him. That's the sad part of it. Just hoping that change our mind. That would make me so happy.
Let's ladies and gentlemen. I have to switch to plan B. And what's plan B? I think it has to be discussed with uh, the lawyer. We have a month from beginning to end to get Mark to the prom. How do we do that? We've sought what's called an injunction, which is an order prior to trial based on limited evidence, because you only have a limited time to put the materials forward, um, to, uh, to enable Mark to go. We're not talking about bringing down the Catholic Church here or banning it. Uh, it, it how fundamental is this, uh, is this uh, principle to, uh, to Catholic education? Um, and uh, we're going to suggest it's not nearly as fundamental as the rejection uh, is to uh, lesbian and gay students. How do you respond to the fact that every challenge against a separate school board has been um, come out in favor of the school boards? I mean, does that, that concern you at all? This would have to be quite a precedent-setting case, as I understand it. I don't think that's true. The duties that are owed to students are different than the employment relationship between a school and its teachers. There is no question that the Constitution provides protection and institutionalizes the Catholic schools in Ontario. They have a special status where they receive funding and they are constitutionally recognized. Does that mean, we ask, that their rights are absolute and whatever they say they believe in, they can do because they are a Catholic school board and they are entrenched in the Constitution? We say no. With the privilege, with the right of providing publicly funded education comes the responsibility to obey the fundamental law of Canada. The fundamental law of Canada includes equality rights. It includes non-discrimination. And the Catholic Church and the school board may not anchor itself in 19th century values and flout the fundamental laws of this country and cloak themselves in the constitutional exemption. That's our position. No doubt their position will be different. That's cool. Oh, no, it just sends a chill down my spine. Hey, you know what? We should go soon, though. This one? Go. Look at this one. No. I never saw that one, either. And that's from... Last Monday. I do not like this picture. No. I forgot to tell you about a letter from a gay priest. Are you kidding? Wow. Oh, from where? It's kind of hard to understand his writing, but... Uh, North York. I write to you out of the deepest respect for you and your church, but your church is very wrong. It is wrong because it sees your sexuality as not normal. Oh. This is amazing. But when you say gay priest, he's a gay priest of the Anglican church. That's what, yeah. yeah. That was sent to him at the school. I put myself in a number on the back of the calendar because you want to Oh, that's good then. You can keep in touch. Hey. <laughs> Oh, no, really you know, yeah. <laughs> Tight squeeze. <laughs> Small squeeze in the middle. Do you want your jacket on? Yep. Ooh. Come on, Ottawa. Uh, what's great? What are they doing back there that's so great? <laughs> well, it looks like... Oh, did you already have a little spill? It looks like I just wet myself. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> What's your, what's your uh, kind of music, JP? What do you like to listen to? A lot of different things. He's more of an electronic dance person. Yeah, but I like alternative. <laughs> I like, you know. You're expressive with your eyes, Mark. <laughs> I have the walk, I have the talk, I have the facial expressions, the hand gestures. Jeez. <laughs> Someone talks to me for five minutes and they already know I'm gay. Uh, do you two dance slow dances or just the fast ones? I dance both. So. <laughs> JP, like are you? You'd be dancing together slow. I'm You'd be dancing it. slow, yeah. Oh, yeah. The dreamy kind of music, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Angelic. Just like anybody else, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Have you guys ever been to a dance? Actually, no. Not really. No? For our happy year anniversary, he took me to the 360 restaurant. Wow. Oh, great. oh he's so good to you. <laughs> I know, for two people, it was $99.01. Wow. <laughs> you remember the total. Wow. Yeah, I have the receipt in the box. You're yeah. going to be world famous. This is making history. I know, it was funny because my mom, yesterday when we were, my mom was watching the 6 o'clock news. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh yeah, it'll be on 6.30 for the local news or whatever. No, it was on at like 6.15 because now I'm international. So international, wow. I was like, hmm. Yeah, wow. really, eh? You're moving up the food chain. Yeah, I know. The media food chain. <laughs> 
you find you're the same person you were oh, a few God, weeks yeah. ago? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm Kate. the same. Just got just everywhere now. You better ask JP now. JP, JP how, yeah, how, yeah. How have you known Mark's different? Yeah, how am I different there? Uh, <laughs> oh, put me on the spot. It's <laughs> nothing against Mark. Uh, uh, that's not bad. That's, just, that's too much. All of us. It's just way too much. Over something that shouldn't have been an issue in the first place. Yeah, exactly. I think it's crazy, you know? Uh, I want to play Snake. <laughs> I know that was they totally off the topic. Segway. Uh, <laughs> the purpose behind the fight is wonderful. I'm totally for it. I totally feel, you know, the love and support that everyone's given us for this. But at the same time, it, it kind of interferes, with, you know what I mean, with your normal everyday activity. And people uh, don't yeah. look at you the same. Uh, I don't know. Everything seems planned now. It doesn't, I don't know. Hard to explain. You know, I thought for my speech for this parliament thing, I think I'm just gonna jot down point for him. Yeah. I'm gonna just talk so I get used to speaking exactly. without a speed. Alan Rock is gonna speak. Mark, do you know who Alan Rock is? Uh, I'm thinking of where to start. Nice I'm retelling my story. License. Let's start from the middle. Yeah, Talk about the end of grade 11. That's when it started. George Smitherman uh, brought Mark's case to my attention. I recognized at once that it was another one of those instances where we have to rally behind someone who's standing up for an important principle and showing personal courage in doing so. Mark, this is an EGAL Canada Community Award, the first such award that we have presented to you for your courage and integrity in advancing equality rights for gay, lesbian, and bisexual youth. Since this whole issue started, some people have argued that I'm trying to be a gay activist or that I've exceeded my 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> Unfortunately, these people don't understand that I'm only trying to do one simple thing. Take my partner Jean-Paul to the prom. Queen's Park all over again. At this point, I don't really care what people think of me. I saw you on the news. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You can get too used to being a media <laughs> star. Careful. The core of the issues for us are ones that are fundamental and won't go away. Uh, they're about every young person's right to de define their own sexual orientation and be able to live their lives and, and celebrate their love in the manner of their choosing. I think Mark um, paves the way for a lot of people, not only for young men and women who are, who are gay, but for people who are still investigating who they are, not only on a sexual level, but many other levels as well. Uh, that's cute. Oh, you scared me, jeez. That's a fabulous picture. That's a good picture, you. Hey, Mark, what's this? It's so cute. Oh, his name is Twinkles, JP Bottom. Twinkles, Aww. JP Bottom for me for uh, Christmas. Wow. church won't go for that one. So to me, sex is not the whole issue, whereas the Catholic Church seems to be focusing in on sex. And um, I think it's important to realize this. It's important to be educated. That's him. That's him. That's him. <laughs> so apparently he feels really bad. Apparently it wasn't his decision. There's Sean again. Hi. No, I'm sorry. Oh, we don't care. Skipping, Sean. No, we're going Oh, yeah. I had an interview with The Lofters, which is this TV show in Toronto. So do you sort of see yourself almost like an activist now, trying to... <laughs> you are whether you like it or not. <laughs> Spokesman of... I don't know. I don't... 
I just want to go to prom with my boyfriend. It's not really a big deal and everything. After the interview, they said, oh, well, we have a surprise for you. So I was kind of wondering, like, oh, my God. So what we're actually going to do now, we're going to go over to a tuxedo place mm -hmm. and fit you guys today, this afternoon. Yep. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. So I hope you guys are wearing clean socks. I don't want to smell nobody's feet. <laughs> oh, my God. So we drove down to Ajax, and uh, they videotaped us putting um, our tuxes on and everything. And they rented it for us. Hi. Um, you're Mark Hall, right? Yeah. Um, we work at Energy FM in AM 1350, and I know that our um, news reporter, Kelly Addison, wanted to get in touch with you. Okay. So can I give you her name? And okay. Her? She's been trying for a while, and we saw you out here, so... Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. No good problem. luck. Thank you. <laughs> for the most part, the media has died down, so that's good. And how are things at school? Does it seem like back to normal at school, or what? Um, pretty much. There's still a lot of people that come up to me and support me and everything, but... It's died down too. My life is getting back to normal, so. It's a beautiful day out in Whitby. It's a good day for a, for a case like this. The sun's shining. And uh, I think uh, all six sets of counsel are ready to go. Certainly we are, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to pursuing this in court today. Does anybody have a staple gun? We have tape. No, it's not going to work. That will work. The judge is expected to hear arguments all day today and into tomorrow. It is not known when a ruling will be made, but again, the prom is on Friday. Mark, can we just ask you how you're feeling this morning? Nervous. <laughs> can you introduce us to the settlement setting side? Focus on Mark and your relationship. Um, it's a Your hair looks fabulous. <laughs> all the best. Yeah. <laughs> you look fabulous. We're all behind you. So we're just going to go over here where, uh, to make a quick statement. Okay? Please don't spill them through the glass. There are people, there's jurors standing inside. Please do not get jurors on the camera. <laughs> On our way to the courthouse, we were all talking about uh, good luck things, and then I showed a rosary. This is Marcel's uh, rosary. Then I took it and put it in my pocket, and Mark did, took the picture and put it in his coat pocket, and on his way there, my husband said, well, I have something too. He said he pulled out the, ticture, the same picture, put it in his suit's pocket. For well, good luck, it's just a coincidence, like, well, thought the same thing. <laughs> uh, Marcel, he was uh, 29 when he died in 95. Suicide. We accepted it. It was hard, but we did. We did it. What happened there, was God knows. You'll never know. We left to go on holiday. Friday night, he came with us, and because he teased me because I like bingo, something like that, you know. That night, my brother, um, he, he was drinking or whatever. We leave Saturday morning on holidays, and we got about like an hour drive to do to my parents' house when we found out. He came down this road and he kind of went through that sign. Drove through here, I think there was like a tree or something and it broke his windshield or something. And then he kind of just drove off into the water. Some guy heard like, this big splash of water and he was kind of wondering what it was. And then he looked at the window and saw the truck in the water. So he ran out of his house, ran down the thing and then I uh, went inside and dragged my brother out and then I'm not sure if my brother um, died when he was in the water or if he died on the way to the hospital. He basically drowned. So. Mm -hmm.
mark is just like him. The same taste, they got the same laugh, they got the same... <laughs> mark will laugh and sometimes I think it's him laughing, you know, like... <laughs> You're the mom of the gay guy. <laughs> 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 Mark, can you just ask me very quick question? I have to go inside. Really quick? Really, really, really quick? Please? Please, please, please? Okay. You're not switched on. Uh... You guys good? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah. You're not on. I'm not on. I'm on now. No, no, we're just doing a scrum outside. It's, it's yeah. on. Can I call you back? Okay. The board says okay, that you bye. willingly chose to come to this school, and therefore you need. If you're going to be here, you're going to play by our rules. Will you just look at the camera that way? Right? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? The board says if you're going to come to their school, you have to play by their rules. Um. Okay. Well, I chose to go to the school when I was 13 years old, and. 13-year-olds don't really know a lot about Catholic teaching, and um, I felt since if they were Catholics, they'd accept me for, you know, who I was and everything. He's a fine young man. His parents should be proud of him. But what he wants to do, he can't do in a Catholic school. It's that simple. Okay, his final submissions sorry. to the judge, Mark Holmes, lawyer, argued okay. three. Yep. So they're entitled to their private religious beliefs, but what they're not entitled to do is discriminate against gays and lesbians in the publicly funded school system. That's what they're doing. In his final submissions to the judge, Mark Hall's lawyer argued there is four. The principal um, acknowledged that he hadn't really considered Mark's best interest. He had considered Catholic teaching. In his final submissions to the judge, Mark Hall's lawyer argued holding dance is a non-denominational activity. David Forbitt says there is no sacrament of prom. Okay, so now you wait, I guess. Uh, yes, we wait until the judge issues his decision. Um, he's told us that uh, he will get us a decision um, as soon as he can, but probably not till uh, Friday afternoon. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with the whole court thing. I mean, I think David did really good, and with all the interveners, they did really well, too. It's okay. Sorry. We don't mind. Are you calling me fat? <laughs> no, we're calling you Oh, we just, we love you, Danielle. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's on the ground! <laughs> 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 it's a miss angle, that doesn't look too good. <laughs>
That thing was watching over us. Yeah. Every time we have a, something to cope with, we always ask him, and it seems like it's happened. Yes. But I know he's with us. I'll say thank you, but I don't think that's enough. Uh, I, 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 I think I'm going to say a word Thank you. Oh, that's for sure. Like my husband said, thanks, you don't know how. Thanks, 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 Oh, David on the phone when I was talking to him, he said that the judge was so impressed with that case. That was the most difficult case that he ever had since uh, nine years. Nine years that he's been there. Jeez. So happy. On a gani. On a gani. I don't know how to explain how I feel. I obviously am pretty happy. Yes. I think I'm more than that. Just a minute, okay? That's what happened now. Hi, Nelson. Lost in Delaney. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Were you filming during uh, when when you got the announcement? Yeah. It was? Yeah. Can I get a copy of that? Okay, so what do we need? We need Manic Panic. We need oh you have a this. Yeah. Okay, that works out. Okay. Haircut. You gotta get your nice crown haircut. Oh I'm jealous. I get the red thing. Like it's a nice leopard print. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Okay, where's the blow dryer? In a rush. What's that blue The boyfriend's shirt was with the bag on the Good for the food. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. How's the deal? Ottawa for a news conference with Mark Paul in about half an hour. Watch for that and watch for more of the story from Alex Pearson tonight on City Falls. Are you packed? Huh? Are you packed? Oh, yeah. Is that okay? Perfect. Packed? Hey! Oh, which side do you put that on? This drink goes to a quality. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Shop looking back here, guys. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so special. Bye. Have fun, guys. Bye, love, love you. you. Does the driver, do you know where to go? I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a limo before. I'm so nervous I can't sweat. I'm all nervous. I'm just so excited that I can't sweat. I've had a lot of people on like the internet and phone calls and everything and they're just saying how proud they are of me and I think that this is just another step towards their quality as well as mine. Have fun guys. Hey. Have a dance for me. We were just leaving from the uh, CAW gathering and oh my god it was so fun. And this is our limousine. Never been in one before, it's quite an amazing experience. How are you feeling? I'm great. <laughs> Hi Larry and Greg, how are you?
should be allowed to come to prom, and I'm wicked that he's coming. I can't wait to see him here tonight. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Baby! Hey, $600 for limbo! Woo! Oh, these folks get awful close. <laughs> So okay. how are you feeling about the decision, Mr. Power? Well, I'm not taking any questions, guys, today, but I would like to make a few comments about our prom. I'm Mike Powers. I'm Principal Monsignor John Prima Catholic Secondary School. And uh, before I go, I'd really like to thank you guys for respecting the privacy of the kids. This is their prom. It's very important to them, and I, I really appreciate your consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Mark Hall. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. So what did everybody think of the uh, prom? All right, well, we are almost dead. The battery is dead right now, it's telling me. So we're gonna turn off in one second. We had fun and we won this, so yeah. <laughs> all right, so, all right, you know what? This is me signing off. We had a great time. And, Mark, when you look back at this, just remember, you should be proud of what you did. I think it was Voltaire who said that uh, he um, he thinks we should be tolerant of all things but intolerance. JP pointed this out that um, the school board said that we can't condone homosexuality. Well, this is the yearbook. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> like this? Look at it. <laughs> the rainbow colors. You're <laughs> <laughs>